The British pay tribute to their war dead with public ceremony, like the procession today when the bodies of six more soldiers were brought home from Afghanistan. And every grieving family gets a private tribute too, a personal condolence letter from the Prime Minister, traditionally written by hand. But the mother of 20-year-old Jamie Janes, who was killed in Afghanistan in October, says the letter she got turned a tribute into an insult. Uh, when I read it, it's just... I didn't even get halfway through it, I just threw it. It's just an absolute insult. Penmanship was part of the problem in the handwritten note from Gordon Brown, which seemed to be addressed to a Mrs. James with an M instead of an N. Offended, she called a newspaper, which claimed there were 25 spelling mistakes in the hard-to-read note and published it, calling it shameful. When the prime minister phoned the grieving mother to set things straight, she taped him, and the paper put that on its website. No, Mr. Brown, Mr. Brown, listen to me. He did listen for 13 minutes while she berated his penmanship and his leadership. How would you like it if one of your children, God forbid, went to a war and because of a lack, lack of helicopters, lack of equipment, your child bled to death? The last thing on my mind was to cause any offence to Jackie James. Today, with a poppy on his lapel, a symbol the British wear each November to honour their war dead, Brown was also wearing his heart on his sleeve. I'm a shy person, but I also do feel the pain of people who are grieving. The Prime Minister admits he has a problem with penmanship, with 232 British deaths in Afghanistan and public support falling, he also has a problem with the war. Richard Roth, CBS News, London.